I'd like to share with you the most recent struggle of our union, the Association of Whitehead and CWA, dealings with John McCain, Mr. No Change. Last summer, after years of AFA CWA laying the groundwork for legislation, Senator Hillary Clinton and Representative Tim Bishop of New York introduced legislation in the Senate and the House that would provide for a technical correction to the Family Medical Leave Act of 1993. This technical correction would finally provide the same protections for family medical leave for flight attendants as other citizens in this country already enjoy. In May of this year, our May of this year, our legislation was successfully passed in the House by a bipartisan vote of 402 to 9. That's an awesome vote. And I have to say, I am most grateful to my representative, the Honorable Ed Pastor, yeah. who was an original co-sponsor to the legislation, who signed on to it before the bill was even dropped on the floor of the House. I also want to acknowledge the great support of the Honorable Harry Mitchell. Yeah. When we visited Harry's office, he didn't take a second look at it. He saw it was a justice issue. He saw it was a fairness issue, and he immediately signed on to it. And I will tell you from years of lobbying, we often visit freshman congressmen and what we hear, or congresswomen, and what we hear is I really can't sign on to bills that are not related to my committees, but Harry didn't hesitate and supported the bill immediately. We also got great support from Congressman Raul Grijalva, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, Yay! and we're most grateful for their support as well. On the flip side, I have to tell you, though, that Congressman Trent Franks and Congressman John Shack chose to not co-sponsor our legislation, and Congressman, absolutely boo, and, not, and Congressman Jeff Flake was one of the nine that voted against our legislation in a roll call vote on the floor. So remember that when we go to the polls. After this great victory in the House, we focused our attention on the Senate side. We believe that if we, we believe that we had 51 Democrats and independents sorry, who would support this legislation, and we believe that if we could get nine Republicans to understand our issue, we would be able to pass this legislation into law and have a veto-proof bill. We carefully allowed you to build a balanced bill, to, and today we have eight Republicans on this legislation. Now, back at the ranch in Arizona, let me tell you a bit about our efforts to gain support from our hometown, John McCain. It's not a, per it's not a pretty story. In January of 2008, I personally delivered over 500 letters from our members to Senator McCain's office in D.C. Two months later, when our legislative committee went out to lobby at the CWA convention, they visited Senator McCain's office, and they had no idea that any letters had been delivered. Not a one. Members complained that Senator McCain's voicemail was full on weekends and they couldn't get through to leave messages. I began calling every Friday afternoon about 4 o'clock just to check and see if the voicemail was full. Sure enough, it usually was. So I'd usually call and just ask a staffer if they could kindly answer the voicemail so we could fill it up again over the weekend. John McCain voted for the original ah. episode in 1993. He is aware that in the community congressional records it is reflected that flight attendants were intended to be covered by the legislation, and yet he has failed to sign on to this technical correction. As constituents, constituents of John McCain, our members have been ignored. John McCain has not only been absent in Congress during this election, but he has been neglectful of his duties to represent his Arizona constituency. Well, enough is enough. Thanks, but no thanks, John, for your failure to represent me, and thousands of your constituents. And thanks but no thanks, John, for your failure to co-sponsor FMLA protections for thousands, thousands of flight attendants and pilots in the state of Arizona. And thanks but no thanks, John, for your failure to recognize that thousands of flight attendants and pilots in Arizona are full-time workers and deserving of the same protections that are provided to other citizens of this great nation who are dealing with seriously ill loved ones. So I guess by now you surmise I'm not voting for John McCain.
John, has been, John McCain has been no friend to flight attendants and in my opinion should have resigned his position as Senator of the state if he's not going to represent his constituents. I will be doing all I can do to elect Senator Barack Obama as our next president. Senator Obama is a co-sponsor of our FMLA, FMLA legislation and he is a